Hey guys, just wanted to show you some of my uh, latest uh, experiments. Just uh, messing around here, kind of for fun. Uh, this is a uh, Starship coil. It's kind of hard to see because of uh, it's red on red. But uh, I have it uh, attached to a speaker cone, as you can see. This is a 15 inch speaker, and uh, the magnet is here. This is actually a different magnet than that what was in it before. But uh, I just want to show you that this coil works great as a speaker. It's quite interesting. Uh, I've got it hooked up to an amplifier here. Uh, right now I'm just playing uh, some stuff through my iPod. So we'll go ahead and play it. So you can uh, hear it pretty well. Um, it is working. Uh, like I said, it's just an experiment. But this coil, um, I'll lift it up and quit. Put it back. But uh, this coil is based on a. Uh, Marco Rodin's uh, math, and this particular coil is just one single winding. It's just kind of for fun. It's not really based on his math identically because it's only one. You actually need more than that to get this to work right. Um, <clears throat> but if you get a chance to look that up, it's very interesting stuff. Uh, this little guide here is how I wrapped it. This is from uh, a YouTube user uh, named HHO for Volts. He's got this on uh, online. You can just download it. And uh, you're actually supposed to have two separate coils here, one with nothing, all uh, 10 degrees off. So uh, if you read up on uh, Marco Rodin's uh, information, you'll figure that out. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Cool little coil. It does get warm um, over time because I'm pumping a lot of stuff through it. But... Uh, yeah. Now what I'd like to do, it sounds bad because uh, everything's rubbing. It's just sitting in here. But uh, yeah, and what I'd like to do is show you. I'm going to plug this into my laptop. I've got a frequency generator on here. It's set at 24. Hurts right now. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and turn it on. See it jumping. Might not be able to see that on the video. Let me slow it down. Now you can see it jumping. That's uh, 15 hertz. really get this thing balanced right in the center it does pretty uh, pretty good but uh, what's interesting about this coil is that uh, it actually fluctuates in a different different manner here let's put this on here you can actually see it Whoa. Sideways. So it's actually pulsing like this direction really fast instead of vertically this direction. As you can see a speaker moving. You see my magnet moving here? Left to right. Uh, just some interesting, interesting stuff I've noticed.
But yeah. So, uh, I guess I've officially created a uh, a Rodin Starship coil speaker. Very sad, but it does work. I slow it down here. It's 10 hertz. 11. 12. Once again, if I can get this all centered right, I can't really see that. It'd be, uh, be pretty interesting to build something much bigger, <clears throat> really figure out how this stuff works, and uh, kind of play around with it. But yeah. I don't know what this program is called. Uh, let's see, Visual Analyzer. And uh, it does a lot of stuff. It's really cool. I suggest getting it. It's very fun to play with. I actually use it for car audio, just to play around with frequencies. But yeah. Oh, my. Let's put some music back on. pick up but the coil itself is making noise I got it up against there I don't know if you can hear it but there's no magnets it's just glued to this cone and it's actually vibrating so uh, I'm not sure what's going on there might just be picking up the magnetics around it I, I don't know but uh <laughs> Trouble and bass. Who's the bass? Song's over, guys. song. This Flowbots, by the way. Old CD. They're new, it's pretty good, too. But it is distorted. That's mainly because I'm cranking too much power into it. And it's hitting everything. But anyway, there you guys go. A Rodin Starship Coil. It's uh, going to be more experiments with this later. I'd like to try some stuff with the Bendini circuit that's uh, running over here right now. It's been running for a while. You guys seen this in my other videos. If you haven't, you can go check it out. But uh, hopefully I'll be able to mix all this stuff together and make something unique, different, work well. And if not, I don't care. It's just for fun. I'm learning. If anybody's got any information on the Marco Roden, uh, any good information that I can read, send it to me. Just contact me via my YouTube channel. That'd be great. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs>